What's up YouTube? Agent Zero here, and today I'm going to be doing a comparison video between Last Perdition and Joram's Claw. Two legendary pulse rifles in Destiny 2. So first, let's take a look at the stats. Joram's Claw has better handling and magazine size, and Last Perdition has better stability and reload speed. Now something to note, that's the way I have these guns set up. Base stat-wise, Last Perdition only has greater stability. Also from the base stats, Joram's Claw has better range and handling, also slightly better reload speed, and they actually both have the same magazine size. That's from the base stats. Now, let's take a look at two hidden stats that I do like to talk about, the inventory size and aim assistance. Inventory size is the amount of extra ammunition a gun can hold, and that number is slightly bigger on Joram's Claw. The aim assistance is the magnetic force that draws your gun to an enemy, and it is the same on both of these two guns. Now that we've talked about the statistics, let's get into some of the perks of The Last Perdition and Joram's Claw. The Last Perdition has one perk that stands out. It is Rampage, a known favorite. Kills with this weapon temporarily grant increased damage, which stacks three times. Joram's Claw has a couple that stand out. It has Drop Mag, where the magazine drops on reload, wasting ammunition, but greatly increasing reload speed. And it also has Outlaw, precision kills greatly decrease reload time. So it's kind of a dual threat for that extra reload time for Joram's Claw. Although I do kind of recommend staying away from Drop Mag on Joram's Claw, you have a very big magazine, and if you are dropping your magazine right after you get a kill or after maybe you just shoot off once, you're going to be wasting a lot of ammunition. So unless you are used to waiting until your mag is empty before you reload, I do recommend kind of staying away from that. I know I have issues with reloading right after I get a kill, which can tend to losing a lot of ammo and running out of ammo when you're in any game mode it really doesn't matter you're gonna be running out of ammunition a lot if you don't pay attention when you're using drop mag so outlaw definitely makes up for that especially if you're good at getting precision kills so now that we've talked about the stats and the perks of these two guns let's get into the subjective part of the review where I give my opinion on these two guns and which one I prefer and why so first let's talk about PVE both of these guns have very good stats and perks for PvE. Rampage is great, obviously it can help you take out hordes of enemies extremely quickly, but so can Outlaw. Outlaw is also very good, you're getting those precision kills, and you can quickly reload your gun, making it easier to take out those hordes of enemies. Other than that though, these guns don't have any perks that stand out. Like I said, both of them have pretty good stats for PvE. So overall, it kind of just comes down to Rampage versus Outlaw. Because the other stats, while they are nice, it kind of just doesn't affect them PvE-wise. So overall, I'm going to have to go with Rampage when we're talking about PvE. Now, I do love Outlaw. I think it could be a little bit better of a perk. Honestly, it's hard to pick Outlaw over Rampage. Now, if Joram's Claw had something that maybe vastly made it better, some stat or another perk on this gun, then Joram's Claw would have a fighting chance when it came to PvE. However, I just like Rampage better than Outlaw, much easier to take out hordes of enemies. While I do like Outlaw as a perk, I think it could be a little bit better. Now let's go into the Crucible. Which one of these guns has the edge in the Crucible? There is one thing that stands out apart from Rampage, that really gives the last edge to the last perdition in my opinion and that's that stability the stability is great on the last perdition which is why i recommend the last perdition over joram's claw when it comes to pvp as well while joram's claw i did find some success with it i found better success with the last perdition one thing to note i did find myself sometimes doing poorly with joram's claw I initially thought to myself, well, maybe I'm just lagging. I switched to the last perdition and immediately started doing better. 
That's one of the reasons why I like The Last Perdition. Rampage definitely helps out, and the stability on the gun helps out as well. So with that being said, overall, I do have to give The Last Perdition my vote of confidence for the head-to-head -head battle of these two guns. I would prefer to use The Last Perdition, in my opinion. I think it is a little bit better of a gun, especially with Rampage. It definitely tips the edge in The Last Perdition's favor. One thing to note, Joram's Claw is an Iron Banner weapon. So if you do want to get Joram's Claw, you have to get it in the Iron Banner, which is actually happening this week. So that's just something to note. It's a little bit rarer of a gun to get. So if you're choosing between these two and you want the more rare gun, stick with Joram's Claw. Last Perdition does, does drop fairly often. So you could easily get that back. So, what other guns would you like to see compared? Leave a comment in the comment section and let me know. If you did enjoy this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more Destiny 2 content. Well, until next time, peace!